What's up everybody, this is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography and today I want to do a video for you on composites. This is going to be uh, part one of two. I'm going to be showing you how to do two different types of composite images. Uh, this isn't going to be like the sports ones that you see with all the crazy backgrounds. This is basically just putting images together into one single image. Uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you. Um, so the, the first one that we're going to do is what I'm going to refer to is like a locked off tripod shot. So you have a tripod uh, with the camera on top, it's shooting one scene and you have something happening in that scene and you want to put all that together. Uh, in the next video that I, I'm going to do, it's going to be kind of like a panning uh, composite shot. Uh, but the first one that we're going to do, this is from last year at the East Coast Surfing Championship. It's from the Monster FMX motocross team. Uh, they had some ramps out there and stuff like that, and it's a one of the, one of the athletes going up the ramp, doing a backflip, and coming down the other ramp. And I'm going to show you how you can put all those photos together into one image. So we're going to flip over here to the computer, take a look, and uh, I'm going to show you the images here real quick. So these are the these are the photos that we're going to be using. Uh, we've got a couple different ones here. You can see the rider going through the air doing his flip. You might be wondering why I have this one here. This is just a plain photo, nothing in it. If you look down here in the lower left at the monster ramp, in all the other photos there is a guy standing there. And I'm going to use this first frame to remove him from the photo. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these photos with the monster girls in the middle uh, between the ramps. We're going to pick one that we want, uh, how we want the girls to look, and we're going to put this whole thing together and hopefully it ends up looking something like this photo right here. Alright, so the programs that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using obviously Bridge and the only reason that I'm using Bridge is to look at the photos so I can see what I have. So whatever program that you want to use, you can use Finder or Windows Explorer or anything like that. Just pick the photos that you want. Uh, we're going to be using Photoshop to put all the photos together. If you're using another program other than Photoshop, I'm sure you can do this. I just don't know how to do it in other programs. So what you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop and you're going to go to file scripts and then load files into stack and what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to uh, put each of the photos on a separate layer so once this window is open we want to use files we're going to browse and we're going to go to where the photos are and we're going to select the photos that we want to include. We're going to hit open. Once we hit OK, uh, this is going to do its thing. It's going to take a few minutes, so I'll be back when they're all loaded. All right, so now that we have all the photos loaded into Photoshop, we're going to flip back over here and you can see that all the files are now in separate layers and if you don't know you can go and you can click and drag down here you can turn all these layers off at once as long as you hold your click and you can just drag back and turn them on all all back on so the first thing that we want to do is we want to pick our background image uh, this is going to be the image that uh, we're going to use and it's the one that has the, basically the best photo of the girls in the crowd and stuff like that. So we're going to look through these and figure out which one we want to use. And I think I might just use this one right here. All four of them have their hands up. Uh, the sky looks pretty good. Uh, so we're going to use this one for our background and conveniently it's the bottom. Uh, I want to keep my background image at the bottom. If you are not, um, if you pick one of the other ones, you can easily just click and drag to wherever you want it. I like to put it at the bottom. 
The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select this photo that the guy over here on the left is not in and I'm going to move this all the way down here just above the bottom photo. So now you can see that this photo, the guy goes away, but you can see that because this layer is on top of the other one, the girls are different, but we don't want to use the girls in this photo. We want to use the ones in this bottom photo. So what we're going to do is we're basically, we're just going to delete everything except for the guy over here um, and this ramp. Uh, pretty easy way to do this. So make sure you are selected in this, in the layer that you want to delete. And we're just going to get out this marquee tool. You can select the rectangular thing or hit M on the keyboard. That's M as in mic. We're just going to come over here and we're just going to delete. And you can see that things start changing. So now you can see like right here, this is where this is where the guy is. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get in here kind of close. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity down. Let me get this thing centered back up here. We're going to drop the opacity down in this layer so we can see where the guy is. Turning this other layer and you can see he's kind of down here in this corner. So now I'm going to switch over to the eraser tool, which is down here. Just hit E. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and kind of draw around him. So he's gone, but the ramp is going to stay. Take your time with this. You want this to be pretty precise. Uh, so now if I go and drag the opacity back up, you can see he's gone, but now there's still this other layer of stuff, but you can hide this bottom layer and get rid of the rest of it now. All right, so now if I turn this layer on, you can see the guy's gone, but the sand looks a little bit different here. Uh, this is a pretty simple fix. Uh, we're actually going to take care of this at the end when we go and clean up the entire image. But you can see here that now we have this nice ramp and where and we ha we have the photo of the girls that we want in the crowd in the background. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hide these two layers and we want to go into the next layer up. Make sure you select this layer. Um, if you don't select the right layer, you're going to start erasing stuff that you don't want to erase. And basically we're going to do the same thing and we're going to delete everything in the photo except for the motorcycle. So you can use the marquee tool. If you hold shift, you can add sections to uh, your selection. Make sure you just make sure you get as close to the motorcycle as possible. And we're going to hit delete and that's all we have left. And we're going to basically hide and select and then we're going to just continue on. The other way that you can do this is you can select the motorcycle like this and then right click, hit select inverse, and we're going to delete. And we're going to keep on moving up this stack here until we get all the photos done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to cleaning everything up. All right, so now that we have all the motorcycle images uh, cut out here, we're gonna turn on these other layers and you can see kind of the whole image, how it's going to start looking. Now, if you look, a lot of this, a lot of it up here is, let me zoom out. A lot of this, where the motorcycle is, they're cut off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch back over to the eraser tool and basically we're going to clean up 
all around these motorcycles. You can see the sky is kind of different in these and stuff like that. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna hide all the layers except for the one that we're not working on. All right, we're gonna hide all the layers except for the one that we're working on. We're gonna go into the eraser tool and we're just gonna start erasing right around the edge of the motorcycle. Again, take your time with this. Um, it doesn't have to be too terribly perfect, but you want it to be pretty close. So take your time. Uh, the more time you spend, the better it'll end up. So I'll be back here shortly and we'll finish this thing up. All right, so we're back and we've got all the uh, riders cut out. So if you look here, they're pretty cut out. They're cut out pretty well, but now we have another problem where some of these areas, the rider is overlapping with other uh, parts of the bikes. So what we want to do is we're just going to go in here we're going to take a close look, make sure nothing's overlapping each other. And if it is, we're just going to clean that up a little tighter. I know there's one spot in here where it is, and it's right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this layer. So it's this one right here. We're going to click in it. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in with our eraser tool, and we're just going to clean, clean this up till it's not over well so it's still overlapping but it's not and I kind of messed up there a little bit just take your time when you're doing this uh, it can be detailed and tedious once you're done we're just gonna move on check the rest of it make sure there's nothing else overlapping too badly and I think we're good so we're gonna zoom back out. We're gonna look at the whole thing again, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And that looks pretty good. Uh, so now you have a couple options. The first option that you have is you can just collapse this thing down uh, into a single layer. Um, or what you can do is you can save it here as a Photoshop, uh, Photoshop file so you can retain all the layers uh, I don't really particularly care about retaining the layers, so I'm going to flatten this image down. We're going to do flatten image, and now we have a single image. Uh, basically, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and just clean it up. I know there's a dust spot over here, so we're just going to go in and... Alright, so we're going to go to J. We're going to use the spot healing brush, and we're just going to kind of draw over this this spot right here and it goes away now down here uh, we just want to kind of clean up this area right here where uh, where the ramp is the way that we can do this is if we go into the lasso tool and we do just lasso around this area here we're going to do shift delete and that's going to bring up the content where Delete, just hit OK, and you can see it just kind of fills it in. Shift, delete, content aware, and just kind of keep going over this area until it's all kind of gone. Now, if you look right here, the photos didn't really line up perfectly. Uh, this is what I was talking about when I said take your time, make sure you do it. Uh, If you, if you take your time, it'll end up and you won't have these giant areas that are just kind of messed up. But if we zoom out and we look at this, this is the final image. We'll flip over here to the other one. Uh, pretty similar, pretty similar photos. Uh, we can, you can see this one's a little bit more blue. We could go in here now. We can do some auto levels. 
auto color. I don't particularly like that, but that looks pretty good. We can go in to curves. We'll throw a linear contrast on here. Just to give, give it a little bit of pop. But that's pretty much it. Uh, using layers, uh, this is a great way to do your composites. Um, like I said, make sure, like I said before, just keep your layers if you want to go back and make detailed adjustments and stuff like that. Uh, save it as a JPEG, as a flat image with everything once you're finally done. This was just kind of a quick down and dirty uh, edit. This other one over here, this one took me about uh, about an hour to do or so. Went in and actually took my time when I was doing it. Um, that's the big thing with composites. You just want to take your time. Uh, the next one that we're going to be doing, it's going to be a, a panning composite. So it was a uh, shot I did with a hurdler going over a hurdle. Hurdle. I wasn't using a tripod. I was just kind of panning along with them. Uh, we're going to do that one next. We're going to do it kind of the same way, but uh, different setup. So check that out. When I post that video, it should be up next week sometime. If you have any comments, questions, anything that you want to see, uh, leave a comment below. All my social media is in the description. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it that thumbs down. Uh, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload videos. This is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.